PA, PL, all those kind of heroes. Uh. Timbersaw. Ah, Timbersaw, yeah, this is a kill here. here. This is a kill here. Timbersaw is good against uh, the Lycan. And Sumail does pick up the Shaker. So he wants the mid lane, the melee versus melee matchup. The Murano will be likely be Universe's hero for off lane. This is the I'm, same laning setup they I'm did run against yes, Lycan, but all lanes being very hotly contested. DJ does push hmm, forward it's, here at bottom. The Night Face is gonna... Oh, make... lift into the tower. They get the arrow onto the Luna, but the lift is there, and Zai will pay with his life. Good bait from DJ. He knew that the aggression was coming and waited till they were close. Yeah, he didn't lift Don't right lift. away. He was just waiting. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Hyo's uh, got the Orb of Venom. He's bullying Arteezy. This top lane is... Going yeah, so but well once Lycan gets uh, his points, it, I always talk about this, the Feral yeah. Impulse, then the lane is... Gucci, that, he's, that level he's gonna three be fine. Is that, that second point oh, is DJ, where... gonna go down here. The pressure is still a, a very heavy from the Mirana Naga. A lot of kill potential. I think Fnatic, you wanna wait for Night Face. Once your Night Face kicks in, then the Night Stalker can maybe be... But the, then the same thing can be said for EG. Then the Hull will be able to give double HP to the to the other lanes. Oh, Hyo in trouble, no time walk. He tried, oh, to, no. he tried to go for the kill on crit, Bottom but the Hull... Looks like they may be considering a kill onto Zai's Naga Siren. There's Fnatic. Gonna get oh, arrowed up one more right click. That, was, that arrow play. was important. Universe. If nice Stalker was... Oh, mid lane QO. Very, very low here. Has the sick charge. He's trying to bait Sumail. But Sumail with a bottle. Heals himself back up. I mentioned how exciting yeah, this, this mid lane, lane can this, be. This lane is actually... Timbersaw's a hero that really relies on those reactive charges. If he can't get them... Could be in some trouble, Sumail's looking for the kill. Yes, stick charges, he's him. fine, yeah. he's fine. He uh, wants back in, Sumail hoping for a four minute rune, you've got to imagine. Bottom lane, DJ again being gone on the lift into arrow combo. They've got another kill on him, but will they pay the price? It does certainly look like it. Zai gonna go down. There is a cost for this one, and crit TPing mid, refilling the bottle. Good selfless play coming in from the Disruptor. He wants the kill. If I kill you first, why do I need to survive? Yeah. <laughs> Very much the Sumail approach. A higher level 6 now on Void. Yep. Not necessarily going to be able to get kills on his own. He may look to yeah. team up. Okay, it's daytime. So DD rune on Shaker, by the way. Universe, kill up bottom. They get one. They return from Arjit. He's got an Eclipse here. What can he find with the Naga Illusions? Probably not a whole lot. Sumail, solo kill onto QO mid. As we double damage. Yeah, Wrong double lane. damage. And, yep, double damage with an Echo Slam. Talk about the danger of that rune when he picked it up. Void is ready for this one. EG are trying to go on the Luna, but they may pay the price. Febby pops out. Chrono. Here comes the Chrono. Arteezy barely outside of it. Throws the Howl to try and help Universe out. Universe very tanky with the Treads Bracer. Oh, the Static Storms. Arjit could knock it off the Eclipse. He's going to get brought back now by Eclipse. May need to just throw that Eclipse, but there's just too many targets to go on. He's going to hold the ultimate and EG bring five bottom kill well, two. Well read. Like, you see all this movement. Void is not in the lane for some time. So... Very likely going Major to bottom. Into arrow. Uh oh. Root. Another root. They've got the totem, and there should be enough damage. There's the root. The echo sign being used as well. They want to get QO. He's and level one ult. Oh, isn't the is, isn't the level one ult better now? They they buffed it. They slightly. buffed it by like 25, right? <laughs> just, just 225. So, just so it's better than the how. Yeah, just so well better than level two how. What about level three how? Bottom lane, Lycan gonna get a kill in the void. That was with the disruptor's aid. As QO trying to finish off this mid tower, here come EG Disruptor with a potential static storm. Wants this kill, QO. Needs to be careful. There's a blink shaker. I don't know. Oh, okay. he doesn't actually have the blink yet, but the static storm. Sumail's uh, there as well. He was so cocky, QO. He's not actually dead just yet. Oh, he gets glimpsed back up as he timber chain. He was so cocky, dude. And that's QO's playstyle. With this treads drums building, he's already taken the tower. Chronosphere does barely catch him mid leap. They'll make sure they get the one kill. Cure. Yes, Vanguard though. Yeah. I think they need one more hero here to kill. Okay. Go slam. That's a lot of creeps. The arrow yeah, is there. Yeah. There's the plus one. There's a plus one, plus two, plus three. Yeah. <laughs> plus four. Whole team rocks up, you know. <laughs> it's Cure. They've got know. five man here. They'll they'll take down Cure. He's the big playmaker. They know it. Arjit's found as well, and with the mask of Manus, the extra movement speed, he Whoa. will lose some of his Look armor. At that damage. Luckily, Rubik is there. Uh, Steals the shape shift yes, after he leaps. Glimpse back, he's still very fast. DJ, the little baby Lycan, locked in place by the ensnare, and they will kill him, but he saves the Luna in the process. Bottom lane, meanwhile, Fairby, oh, that was close. Sumail almost gets a solo kill on the support Night Stalker as EG 
will take a tower. It just feels like EG are having their way with Fnatic right now, finding kills, getting away from ganks, and getting towers to go with it. As a high oh, uh oh. Static Storm is available. They don't snare him up. Arrow is there. They don't need oh the Static my Storm. God. So Mel, you want to find a higher here. The pings are coming out. A higher will not get hit by the arrow. Gets the time walk away. A higher alive for now, but he gets mana burned. He is not oh, going to escape this okay, one. Fight is over. The sleep is being used. No escape. And whoa, Echo Slam on three. EG hit the perfect team fight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's an impressive showing of team fight prowess from the boys in blue. <laughs> so what obviously Fnatic did not. They, in hindsight, they're probably maybe going to be second guessing that fight and the vision factor. Yeah, because if you think about this what right? That EG place. Like you generally place this if you're on the Radiant side. Solo kill from Sumail with the Yules. Totem Fissure into Yules into another Totem. He's now Invis up and DJ doesn't have detection, nor does Febby, that Moonlight Shadow enabling Sumail just to play around, not here to comes, mention the Aegis. Here comes Crit too. Yep, here's Back the, up. the pick off hero. Kyo is just going to go in looking for the kill, forcing out a glimpse. Higher. Oh, he missed the dilation. Crit yeah. still in trouble, gets jumped on by the time walk. EG may just look to fight this one. Sumail has got the Aegis. If he wants to get aggressive, the Howl coming out a bit low on mana though is this oh, Shaker. Fissure, but no mana. Lycan is here though. Arrow not going to land, but I don't think that matters. Ortiz should be able to clean them up. Nice defensive chrono, but it's just that. It's a defensive chrono. Going to help bring down the Aegis here, but QO out of mana from the Necro Book. Could be in some trouble here. Has a lot of reactive armor, but if he gets stunned up, the magic damage will definitely be enough to bring him down. And oh even my QO God. could be in trouble. In Snare, Arrow, Star Storm to follow it up. He's getting very low here. The damage is not Gosh. quite going to be there, but he's glimpsed back. Perfect kill off to the side, Sumail killing off Febby. The Shrine gonna not really do a whole lot for him as it is three EG kills and... Three EG kills plus 300 HP at half from... They're pinging them now, Sumail blinks out, whoa! Solo Chronosphere, Luna oh, walks Luna in. is in the uh -oh. corner. Can they save Sumail? He's got a Yule Scepter, he's got a regen rune as well, needs to force out and use oh, this in the sleep. Sumail. The Silence, the Disruptor. Oh, there we go. Catches the two on the side. Ohio's Void is trapped. He may not have a Chronosphere, but he cannot do anything here. The Echo Slam going to help get the first couple of kills. And EG, they're all full HP. Not a single kill for Fnatic in these last couple of team fights. As QO will get taken out as well. And is GG. Team wiped as Sumail will clean up the last one. Great execution. The Naga countering the Void just to perfection there. And Sumail baiting. It's very, very good against him. That seemed to be the thought process with this last pick. And the last ban on Venom was very much that. Ortiz wants to play like a ranged carry that doesn't have to necessarily do like physical. Mm. Has now got the I try to kill him, but the two supports are here. Yeah. For EG. Ayo seeing behind him. Can't actually heal him up with the tether right now. He's just trying to block and give some extra moves between. Ortiz going to turn around and fight once. Arjit with the Death Pulse. It's going to be close. First Blood does go Fnatic's way as a one for one trade. Zai and Crit perhaps uh, looking another for more. Another stun is coming up. Yeah, DJ has not got the mana for a Frostbite. This new Crystal Maiden, there's a reason we haven't been seeing too much of it. it doesn't look like EG are going to fully commit for the kill with the Necrofrost showing up. Fight will continue. RTZ may be enough to deter any further Fnatic aggression as Puck solo kills Kua. Uh, okay, just, just Sumail things. Die, you know, if they commit into killing the Necro or the Io, they tether the Sanking stuns, very likely someone's just going to die from Fnatic. No. Universe, uh, solo kill, or higher. Well, you talk about bottom lane getting harder for Fnatic. So, as they look to bounce back on this bottom lane, Zai has a salve. The Burrow Strike catches two. Zai can now salve up. May look to tether a teammate for some extra regen here. Arteezy should be fine with that tether. Now the salve kicks in. Arteezy going to get a lot of heal into Mail. Oh, you uh, can't keep your eyes off of him. The fight's happening bottom. It's also happening mid. Twice now we've missed the solo kill at mid because of action at bottom, but sure. yeah, okay. <laughs> If he doesn't kill you, <laughs> oh my gosh, Sumail looking for more. He's got a dream call. QO is dead again, perhaps. Has a salve. Can't even get any stuns off. Okay, yep, Sumail. Catch this one. Three solo kills in a row. DJ going to get caught at the bottom room. Everything just going horrifically for Fnatic, who got to imagine at this point. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I just predicting and moving towards where the uh, CM and Ice Talker are going. Not going to go for the kill, just going to go for the, the pressure on the tower. Top lane, Febby gets stunned up this time after the Sprout. Could be in some trouble. One or two more right clicks, not going to be there. The stun comes out, they really want Zai. No tether available, but there's the Nature's Prophet ultimate. 
cleaving through them. Zai's got the last little bit of damage out, but one more Burrow Strike will seal the deal for Ajit Sven. Double kill for Universe, and meanwhile Sumail has a haste room. What can he do here? He goes, drops in a Dream called QO. And it's got friends in the neighborhood as DJ does TP in all four with a silence onto two. It's Febby showing up as well. Double TPs, but with a haste rune. Sumail wants back in. He's got another orb soon. He's going to be going for this kill. Sumail, one versus three. Wants Kuo, wants DJ, wants everyone. Maybe pushing too far. The haste rune wears off. He's got a silent, so he needs to use it. He gets stunned up and brought down <laughs> Sumail. You knew he was going to go for it. You knew he was going to try. And ultimately, he gets slightly outplayed by Fnag. You say outplayed, but when it's three versus one, you know, it's more outnumbered than anything. Oh, here comes Universe. Debbie has no Tangos this time. The Sprout will well and truly lock him in place, and it may be night time, but Febby is in trouble. No points, or has doesn't have the, the flying, no points in the crippling fear for any kind of a silence. Has the 202 build in. Need to get involved in this game. Sumail again, found uh, out. No orb available, may actually get brought down here. Uh, oh, he dodges the fissure. Sumail gets the kill. Oh, don't know if he wants to jaunt there, but either way, uh, it's a kill. They're gonna block. There are five heroes it. around the same jungle. Yeah. Can he get away? Has a TP scroll. Looks like Crit could be in some trouble. But hey, they're pushing high ground, so Crit doesn't necessarily care about this one. QO going to have to stun no him detection. out. Oh, okay. Another Barra Strike soon, but not soon enough as he does get chain stunned. Meanwhile, EG on the high ground. Not a big kill. It's a level 5 Sand King. It doesn't really mount to too much, and the Reaper not going to quite kill a higher, but they do get him with the follow-up damage. Darkseer down, suddenly the high ground defense not looking all too potent, and this tier 3 tower just being chipped away at. Arteezy has 16, 17 one charges, you can't really go on this Necrophos, and they're going to get an 11 minute tier 3 tower. EG saying, we want to go and just chill out, secure our winner bracket slot, we want, we're done with this group stage. Fnatic may be done with this tournament if they can't find a way to hold their high ground here. It feels like this is the end of the road for the SEA team. Sven gonna throw the ultimate. There's Arteezy's Ghost Shroud Magic Wand. No one dying. The sustain from the Necroforce from the Io. He's got Urn Charges now to play around with as well. They just can't kill anyone. Perhaps Arteezy Burrow Strike onto a couple. Zai going in. Has some stick charges. Arteezy getting a bit low here. Needs to throw the Death Pulses out. Won't catch the Io in time to save his life. But DJ Shrining will barely survive. Arteezy gets the other kill though. He is just healing through the passive. The kills he is picking up from the Death Pulse. And Fnatic being destroyed. And in goes Sumail, blinking into a stun, gets a nice three hero dream call. The vacuum turnaround is not bad, the Reaper is there as well, Puck getting very low, does end up dying. As Crick gonna look to burn them down with the Sandstorm, Arjit doing what damage he can, Fnatic buying back, hoping, praying for some chance of a turnaround here. Arteezy in the front lines, getting brought low, but there's the Io, bails him out with a relocate. And EG, if anything, can re-engage here, I don't think they have to leave the Io for dead. And very likely we'll look to actually fight on through this one. Wall being dropped for the Io's returned. Just an Io illusion in their draft. <laughs> he buys house and Chanta Mango clarity for his team. <laughs> nice. What a bro. Arteezy in the front lines getting brought low, but this is the power of the Io just sitting behind him, keeping him healed up. Sven's turn to buy back now. If it's the third buyback for this defense, 17,000 plus gold lead at just EG. Well and truly. Securing their victory here. QO is smoked up behind. Doesn't even have a blink. You catch him from behind. So what? Can't even blink on top of them as Sumail gets another three-man coil. In comes QO. Silence up though. The Orchid's going to catch him. This has surely got to be it. QO going to be... Oh, barely gets off the Echo. Gets the one kill. Instantly GG's out as Ohio, DJ, and Co. recognize defeat. Brutal way to end their, your tournament run. But ultimately... Two teams had to be eliminated, and Fnatic will be one of them, Winter.